transition. Now, I'm currently in school on a weekend, starting to sort things out, ready for my move. And it's made me think about moving and transition. At the end of the year, there are so many different things to do, reports, assessments, making sure that you've uploaded the reports, moderation, all these different things. And then all of a sudden you get to the end of those and you still have another thing that you have to do before the end of the year. And that is transition. As a result, it can be quite nerve wracking. You're meeting new children, but remember that they are also meeting you and that can be quite nerve wracking for them. So hopefully in this video, I can share some different tips, but then also some different activity ideas that you might want to do with your class to try and make things nice and easy. Now, I'm trying to make this as quick as possible. So, Let's delve straight into some of the tips. Now, when it comes to transition, essentially what you've got to try and do is uh, only a few things. The children need to try and get to know you. You want to get to know the children. The children should come away with a better insight of what the year ahead is so that they feel a little less nervous. And then also it might be nice for you to have some things so that the children come into a classroom that is set up with things that they have created. So you might want to do some different activities where the children have created things for displays. Let's delve into some of the different activities that you might want to do with the class so that you can A, get to know them, and then also B, have something to produce. Let's start off with some get to know you games. So introduce a friend. This is a nice easy one where I've got little Jimmy here. <laughs> Probably gonna have to put something in here. Little Jimmy here is going to introduce his friend. This is little Jimmy. Little Jimmy is interested in X, Y, Z, and you can have all sorts of different categories where they're gonna tell you their date of birth, their name, family, pets, all those different things. You can set those rules and criteria. They're introducing a friend. Two truths, one lie. Two truths, one lie is a nice simple one. If you've been to university, you've probably played this game already in a adult version. Two, two truths, one lie is essentially you tell three facts. Two of them are true, one of them's a lie. You have to pick out what that lie is. It's a nice easy one to go around the class and to try and pick those out. And this can last a really long time actually, this game. So that's brilliant. Next one is dice orientated. And you can say, I am happy when, nervous when, excited when, all those different things. And you can have them labeled to a dice. So one is I am happy when, two is I am nervous when. And you roll a dice, I am happy when. The children talk about when they're happy. Those different scenarios, we go around the class. Again, that's a nice activity that gets you to know the children, but can take a while and yeah, it's just nice and straightforward. What would you do? What would you do is a situational based game where you're going to set up something. What would you do if a child fell over and hurt their leg? Okay, well, I'd help them out, blah, blah, blah. And you'd like to think of those different things that the children would do. This is great as a transition activity to get to know the children, but it's also great as a first day back activity after the summer too. Lineups. Lineups is a great activity to get the children lined up for a range of different things. So you might get them to line up in age order, you might get them to line up in location order or in alphabetical order. Those different things, it's nice and fun, nice and interactive, especially now it's less socially distanced. You can get those children lined up in that way. Not only are you getting to know the children practically, the children are also getting to know each other if they're in different class splits. Now let's move on to a range of different activities that you can do with the class so that you can come away getting to know the children a little bit better, but also hopefully have some display bits too. Paper chains. Paper chains is a nice one. You create a little strip, the children write something about them, all those different bits and pieces that you might want to know about the children, age, interests, those sorts of things. And then you can create that into a bit of a paper chain. You can put that somewhere around the classroom, hang it across the classroom, whether it's in front of the board, somewhere else. You can set that up into a nice, easy display quite simply. Next one is kites. Kites is a nice, simple one. You might have a kite, you might have a like, coat of arms in the middle, or you might just simply have a picture of the individual, and then a strip that comes down and then almost like labels across with different qualities of that child. You can then have all those different kites spread across the front of the classroom or somewhere else as a bit of a display. It's a nice kite display that the children have created. Similar to that then, you've got bunting. You can have like get to know me bunting where the children have labeled some different things uh, and created a bit of a display that way. Again, you could have half portraits slash portraits where the children have created a portrait of themselves. What's nice about this, typically in that first week, I will take photos of the children and those are always used for different things such as targets and you see a wire work display behind me here. I'll put the photos of the different children up there. What's nice about having those portraits is that you can then 
shrink those down and create copies. So rather than having photos, you can have those portraits, which is again, lovely because it's the children's work there too. Oh, so one really nice thing to do during transition day is having a box like this. And this can be like a questions box. So if the children have any questions about things that they want to know for the year ahead, they can just anonymously or with a name, depends, it's up to you. Put those questions in there. And then towards the end of that transition day or hour, however long your school run it, pull those different questions out and answer those about the year group, which is lovely. Online activities. Some classes will choose to do online activities. I'm gonna get rid of this box, this box. It completely depends. My school is quite digital, so I know that online transition activities can be really powerful. All sorts of different ways that you could do this. You could create a class Padlet page where children answer a range of different questions. You've got a range of different questions across the top. I am interested in this. My hobbies are this. Or a load of different questions and then children answer them. It's a nice, simple way to run it. Similarly, you could have a thing link where you get the children to create a thing link about their life, where they've got a picture of them in the middle with different links around the outside. What I've done in the past is a Bitmoji locker. This is a great first week back activity. The Bitmoji locker is where they create a locker and they have a Bitmoji of themselves and then they put all these different interests into it. I've created a video about that, so I'll link that up in the corner. Bitmoji locker has a free template on that video as well, so you can go and check that out. That's nice and simple to run if you've got Google Slides. Seesaw is another activity that you might want to run where the children create a bit of a, an interactive book. They create a main drawing of themselves with different bits of writing, different interests, almost like a poster about themselves, but in a digital manner too. So there, transition activities. There's loads there you, you can go and do. These are some of the ones that I've used in the past that have worked. It doesn't have to be super complex. I think it gets overthought sometimes. Again, go back to those key messages that I've said about. You want to get to know the children. The children need to get to know you. You want something to create a display. And at the end of the day, the children should come out with some insight of what the year ahead is going to look like. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you want to go and check out more information about teaching, make sure you do that on my website, teachtravelltriumph.com. If you want to subscribe to my channel, you can do to see more videos like this. And hopefully I will see you in the next video. Yeah. On that note, I'm out.